Hi, uh, as you can see from alphanumeric uh, upper and lower case. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, cloak keys, and again we're going to go back to our Unreal IRC directory and find where that problem is. So we're going to find next, and as you can see there's the cloak keys there. So we scroll down, as you can see, as the service log said, number one's there, but number two and number three are missing. So what we're going to do, just to make this nice and simple, is we're going to copy that. I'm going to paste it onto here. And the same again for the next line. So now we have three keys. Our next problem is, is all three keys have to be different. So what we're going to do is we're going to change just one number. So we'll change that line from three to four. We'll go down and change the next line from three to five, giving all three keys completely different parameters. Right now the next problem that we see here is K line address must be an email or an URL. So what it's trying to tell us here is wherever the K line parameter is in the Unreal IRCD config file, it's missing um, an email address. So we're just going to paste in K line address again and click find next. As you can see, the problem immediately is completely obvious. So what we're going to do is for this sample, we're just going to put in a test email address. Obviously, if you wanted to, if you actually wanted somebody to be able to contact you in the event of them getting K-lined, and wanted a, a genuine email address for them to send it to, then you would put your own email address here. Okay, so let's have a look back. So we fixed all these problems in the config file. So we're going to save that. Uh, as you can see, do you want to save the changes? And we obviously yes. Right, next problem here is we've got the MOTD and the rules files missing. Now these aren't really that important. Um, MOTD file is basically when somebody connects, it basically says, hi, welcome to blah, 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 chat, these... Uh, have a nice day etc and the rules basically the same thing just to inform the user don't do this don't flood etc so they're not really that important so what we're going to do is we're going to open a notepad file and we're going to copy the first line which is that that's missing copy now in here you would put some text basically you can put anything you want in here Make sure everything is separated by a line. Um, we'll put that on and when we actually connect you'll actually see um, an example of where this goes and how it represents itself. So again, I'm going to save as. Because we've already saved as uh, to this directory, it should already open to Unreal. If not, it's the same process as before. So again, file name, we're going to paste the file name in. And we're going to put that on us in as all files. We'll click save and drop the button. Okay, the next file that we need to do is the IRCD rules. So again, we're going to copy that. And here, again, exactly the same procedure. Anything again you want to put in there, just put in there again. And again, save as. Again, it's saving into the directory. So again, we're going to paste what we just copied there. And again, we're going to click all files and save. Okay, we can close that now. So it looks like we've rectified all our problems. So what I always do is we're going to select all of that and delete it out and save it. So now we know that when we open our service log, there's nothing in there. So next time if we get any errors, we know that they're new errors. So again, we're going to try and start up on real IRCD. And we're going to check the service log. As you can see this time, loading IRCD configuration, configuration loaded without any problems. So that's excellent. So that's what we need to see. Okay, let's connect to the server. Okay, so we're going to open our MIRC program. Make sure we're all connected correctly. 
So to do this, I'm going to type forward stroke server VIP. And the port number. Now, if you remember, we use port 667 as one of the numbers. And then we're going to connect. As you can see immediately, we've connected to our server. No problems at all. <coughs> right. Now, if you remember correctly, uh, to set up our admin lines, we typed... Sorry, excuse me. To admin up, first of all, you need to type forward stroke OPER, standing for operator. Now we need the operator name. Now if you remember correctly, we put that as a test. And we need the operator password. And referring back, we use test1 as the password. And click enter. Immediately, as you can see, it's joined us into the operator's channel. And if we go back to our status window, you can see you are now an IRC operator. OK, that concludes our tutorial for setting up Unreal IRCD. I hope this helped, and if you've got any questions at all, just come to uhackit.net, click to the forum, and we'll be only happy to help. Thank you.